I'm Shei Banigbe, and you should know me from Ben Jury Game Changers. Well, I'm here to tell you about something new and exciting. You've been binging with Game Changers for a while. Now it's time to get cooking with Game Changers. My expectations are, man, go in there and smash it, and let's go get them. To my opponents, I want you to just pull out because we are coming to take the winning ticket. In the Cooking with Game Changers kitchen, I'm not sure you want to come there on that day. However, if you come, get ready to lose. So whoever is planning to um, compete with Jumake should prepare well because we are coming with enough heat and enough action and we are going to win that prize. I'm sure that she's going to put in everything to make sure that she comes out the winner. So be prepared. Whoever the opponent is, uh, let's just have fun together. episode of Cooking with Game Changers. <laughs> I am your host, Daniel Etten F. Young, and today our Game Changers shall go head to head in the kitchen. <laughs> our set today is for the ultimate game changer. Our ultimate game changer is the person who can make the best version of today's dish. Our Game Changers are not here alone, per usual. They have each their kitchen support, who is not just a colleague, but one who has been specifically chosen to provide the much needed boost and support as they journey in the competition. Now, because today's episode has been themed Owambe, we've decided to throw in some spice into the mix. Usually, we do not allow our kitchen support participate in the cooking until told to do so, and they just have five minutes to assist their game changers. But today, our kitchen support can join right in from the start. <laughs> so what are our game changers cooking today? They will be making puff puff and gizdo dough. Ingredients have been provided and I'm anxious to see our game changers make this delicious dish. But before we go into the cooking, let's meet our game changers for today. Our corporate game changer for today is the general manager, Lagos State Waterways Authority and a perfect gentleman, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a warm welcome to Oluwadamilola Emmanuel and his kitchen support is the admin and HR Officer at Lagos State Waterways Authority. Please give a warm welcome to Aurel Lua Padairo. To my opponents, I'm not sure you want to come. However, if you come, get ready to lose. I want you to know that, my GM, you don't want to try. <laughs> We're going to win this. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. You may proceed to your station. Our entrepreneur game changer is an enterprise all by herself. She is the founder of Taylor, an e-commerce furniture company that specializes in creating fabulous furniture in Nigeria and for Nigerians. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jumoke Dada and her kitchen support, the executive assistant to the CEO. Make some noise for Mutiat Afolabi. <laughs> Whoever the opponent is, I just want to have fun, uh, so let's just have fun together. So whoever is planning to um, compete with Jumake should prepare well because we are coming with enough heat and enough action and we are going to win that prize. Yes. All right, high five to teamwork. You may proceed to your station. <laughs> Stick around because right after the break we'll find out how our game changes will be judged. Stay tuned. <laughs> Now 
Welcome back to Cooking with Game Changers. Now it's time to know how our Game Changers will be judged. The Game Changers will be judged based on three criteria. Number one, the taste of the dish. Number two, creativity around the plating and naming of the dish. Number three, cleanliness around your kitchen workspace because it has to be too short clean. It is important to mention the fact that your kitchen support is allowed to join the cooking competition right from the start. This episode is about teamwork. It makes the dream work. Now let's say hello to our judges. First up is the prolific rapper, songwriter, all-round incredible guy. Put your hands together for M.I. Abaga! And I hope that the food is as divine as all the Owambes and the culture that behind that and the rich food as well. I, can, I wish them good luck and I can't wait to taste some yummy, yummy delicacies. Today. Next is the lady with magic in her feet, Dr. Kathy! So my expectation today, because I love a puff. Ah, today, I must taste it beyond, beyond the thoughts of bringing back my nostalgic feeling of my mom. So you better watch out. I'm watching you. <laughs> Lastly, the dapper-looking pilot. Make some noise for Captain Toba! Being an OMB day, it's Puff Puff and Giz Dodo. I'm so excited about this. All right, Captain Tova, I'll start from you. It's an Owen Bear kind of episode. Why are you dressed as a pilot still? Is this how you party? Well, even if you party in the skies, you'd expect your captain to still be dressed like this. <laughs> but I mean, however, we still party either way. I love that reply, excellent. <laughs> now we have recognized our judges, it's time to say hello to a chef with a flair. Put your hands together for Chef Rotimi. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, because when we come back, it's cooking time. everyone we are cooking with game changers now the heat is on and our game changers are ready to go our game changers have 30 minutes to make the puff puff mix rice and 60 minutes to complete their cooking game changers your time starts now let's get cooking So Mutiata and I worked together as a team. Um, I majorly like worked on the Giz Dodo. And, uh, I think the process was really like preparing like the Dodo, the Gizzard and the sauce. And then mixing everything together at the end and styling it basically. Um, that was like really the process of making like the Giz Dodo. Actually um, for the pop off, puff puff, um, I started by mixing the dry ingredients, flour, sugar, and yeast. Then I added a little bit of nutmeg into, into it for flavor. So you're in charge of the geese dodo? Yeah, in She's in that. charge of the pop oh, pop. Oh, good, good, good. My whole role was to cut up the, cut up the items, um, also stir them on the fire. Um, and also make sure I cleaned up everything um, as we were using the items. Okay, I mixed the puff puff 
Then I kept it aside to rise. Then um, fried the plantain, fried the gizzard, made the sauce, and then finished it up. And that was it. It was a teamwork business. Oh, okay. Nice. All done, all done. So you're in charge of the cutting, cutting and you're in charge of what? Machine, um, mixing. Ooh, for course. So what did you put in there? Um, flour, mm -hmm. sugar, yeast, okay. nutmeg. Are you going to put eggs? Yeah. Oh, no eggs. Mm -mm. How about milk? No, no milk. Necessary. Okay. Some people do. Oh, okay. Well done. Mm -hmm. Chef wrote to me. Our people say that words are sweet, but they cannot take the place of food. Never. Never, ever. Never, <laughs> ever. Now, our game changers have wet our appetite with their words. Let's hope they can wet our mouths with their food. Yes. Fingers crossed. As usual. Hello, I'm Shea Banibe, and I choose Power Oil because it has zero cholesterol and it's good for the heart and great for my family. Cooking with Game Changers is proudly supported by Power Oil. That's the buzzer, and that means our Game Changers have... All right, and that also means our judges have to exit the stage and only to return after the dishes have been plated. Now, we do that to eliminate any form of bias. Our judges must judge blind. <laughs> Put your hands together for our judges at the exit the stage. Pressure is mounting on our game changers, and I am about to turn up the heat. Watch this. Game changers, you have five minutes to go. So I think the show is pretty exciting. Uh... Maybe it allowed me to take my mind off work for that period of time. So yeah, that that I'm excited about. And for me, I took it as a fun activity. So it was just for me to have fun and enjoy the moment. Uh, then we'll go back to work the following day. Um, so yeah, I think the show is a very it's fun. You know, it's fun for me. I enjoyed it. The thing that really um, makes winning the show important to us is the fact that um, we challenge ourselves to be more self-confident and also to believe in myself and also believe that I can do anything even if I haven't tried it before. Our game changers are busy. Tick tock, tick tock, the clock never stops. When we return, we shall be plating and our judges ready for tasting. See you soon. Back to cooking with game changers, and if you're just joining us, we are having a party up in here, and noses are dancing to the music of the aroma. <laughs> now that's the buzzer, and it tells us our game changers have just under 60 seconds to round up. Shall we count down for them? Game changers. You have under 40 seconds to finish up. So make sure your workstations are too short clean because you will be judged for cleanliness. You have 30 seconds more. And 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop your napkins and step back. Ladies and gentlemen, our game changers have plated and they are ready for our judges. Don't go anywhere because when we return, our judges shall be right here on stage ready to taste and score our game changers. See you soon. Cooking with Game Changers is proudly supported by To Shore. Welcome back to Cooking with Game Changers. Remember, this party is all about teamwork. Our judges are here, ready to taste and score our Game Changers. Come, let's see what the judges think. Okay, judges, are you ready? Yeah. Listen, I can, I can see your mouth watering. <laughs> you can't wait to go. Okay. Now on our left is Gizzy Puff Oliku. Well, we looked for a name that had both the Gizzard and the Puff Puff, so we called it Gizzy Puff. And because we wanted to give it like an African feel, we added Oliku to it as well. But Dr. Kathy, ah, tell me why you were dancing. I saw you were, you know, giving us some moves. Okay, talk to me. You know, I was dancing because, first of all, when I tasted the Puff Puff, mm -hmm. it's not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. It's just puff puff right uh -huh. okay. Okay. with some mm -hmm. innuendo then the gizzy dodo do -do. Mm -hmm. it was gizzy. it's fiery okay i like it which is that it's a good thing for a party like that because uh -huh. you want the drinks to be going yeah you know, you know, yes. you know. this is good food that's what i'm going to say i'm going to start nice. from saying this is well-made food it's mm -hmm. very tasty mm -hmm. everything on the plate i said i tasted the the, the fruit mm -hmm. the fruit was tasty mm -hmm. The puff puff was tasty, like really delicious, nice. truly delicious. Mm -hmm. And I was, as I was eating it, I was hearing you mention names of things. <laughs> I don't know all the names of the things that are inside uh -huh. it, but I can say that it's very well made. The giz dodo as well, um, very flavorful, very well made. Good. For me, I like the uh, crust on the outside of the puff puff and the softness of the inside. It's not um, excessively it's sweetened. Mm -hmm. the, the, the sweetening is just, it's just right where it should be. For the garnishing, um, the bananas don't look so pleasing to the eye. It looks like an afterthought, mm -hmm. I mean, for the whole dish altogether. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't kind of bring the elements much. together. Yeah, right, right. More, can, more can be done for garnishing, All right. yeah. All right, thank you very much for the round of applause for our judges. Judges, the second dish is christened Amakisi Plata. So we decided to name um, the Plata Amakishi Plata because at Taylor, um, we had a very popular product called Amakishi Table and that was like really the product that, you know, prepared Taylor to what it is today. Um, so that product is like very special to us and that was why we named it Amakishi Plata. Okay, judges, who would dare to go first? Um, I'm ready. Please. Okay. Okay, first of all, I would say when it comes to presentation, this is one of the best I've seen. However, sit down, however, I need to borrow it from Captain. Um, the puff puff was not puffing. Yes, it was just, it was a bit bland for me. In fact, not a bit, it was bland puff puff. It was just dough that right. got fried. Uh, for the giz dodo, I love the way it was really put together in terms of how it was dished. And I was looking forward to an experience with it, but the protein was so tough for such a tender um, dodo, you understand? <laughs> so by the time I was eating, it's like I finished the dodo and I'm still chewing at the, at the protein. So overall, I think it's fair, but the presentation for me was skyrocketed. All right, thank you for that. Yeah. I would say in terms of what presentation can add to a meal, it definitely did that. Before I tasted it, I was in, mm. you know? And then this was really delicious, but I do agree with Kathy that part of the enjoyment of Giz Dodo is being able to eat it easily. And that this has a little bit of like meandering to get a mouthful. 
but everything on it was delicious. Even the vegetables on top were okay. great. I loved what I think these were trying to be. I think that this is a perfect blend of sweets with puff puff. So um, I would say there are some great points, some low points, and that's my uh, my. All right, thank you for that, Am I? I like the creativity that it was made in two different ways. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a chocolate person, you can go with the milk side of things. But the drizzle, I think, was a very, very brilliant idea, idea yes. And on the Gizdodo side of things, presentation was excellent. I mean, it was really good. The gizzard was a bit tough. And yes, it, it, the gizzard was a bit tough. So yeah, it's, it's, it's an excellent dish. All right, thank you for that, Captain Toba. Great, let's give our judges a round of applause. <laughs> Chef Rotimi, do you agree with what our judges have said about the dishes? 100%. I agree with what the judges have said. And I think ultimately, at the end of the day, when you look at food, cuisine, and as much as we eat with our eyes, what you're going to remember the most is the sensation on your tongue. Round of applause for our resident chef as we return to our judges. Okay, judges, are we done? Okay, may I have your scoring sheets? Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury is out. But before we announce the winners, let's go on a quick break. When we return, our game changers are going to be with us and set, and we find out who the ultimate game changers are. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Cooking with Game Changers is proudly supported by Aquafina. Now, if you're just joining us, the party is still on, but the battle line has been drawn. Our Game Changers have joined us and set, but before we announce the winning side, let's go back to our judges for a summary of their thoughts. Judges, I'd like to hear one more time what you thought about the dishes. M.I., talk to us about the taste of each dish. You know, this was a tale of two strengths. I think this was a tale of appearance versus taste. Okay. And on the taste side, I want to say that overall, uh, both competitors did very well. The taste was very delicious. But I think that there was one party that just came with a bigger punch than the other side. Woo! Okay. I believe that both did very well. Mm -hmm. I feel that it was properly done. Both of them were quite too sure on their cleanliness, and I really love that. I they, love they, that. They, they did well. All right, thank you. Captain Toba, talk to us on the creativity behind presentation and nomenclature. The Amakisi platter. Okay. So it was very strong in terms of creativity. Mm -hmm. But on the um, other... Oleku platter. The Oleku, Oleku platter. Greasy pot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there was an attempt to, to do a little bit of garnish with the banana slices, and the apple. It didn't look like an afterthought to me. Because if you look at the bananas, you've lost their, their, they've lost their color quite a bit. Maybe a dash of lime would have kept it from oxidizing. But I mean, that's something that can be improved upon. Ooh, nice pro tip there. Now give a round of applause to our judges, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Who is the winning team? The Laswa team or the Taylor team? And the winner is... The ultimate game changer for today is... Last walk with Grizzly Puff Ole Cool. <laughs> All right, now this is the first time we have 
the male contestant winning. So a round of applause for our male contestant. Now our ultimate game changer goes home with tons of power oil and tons of Too Sure hand wash and dish washing liquid. Give a round of applause for our sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an unforgettable show. Our ultimate game changer for today is the Laswa team, but I believe the Taylor team gave them a run for their money. At this point, I'd like to thank Aquafina, Power Oil, and Too Sure for their amazing support. Join us same time next week for another captivating episode of Cooking with Game Changers. I'm still your host, Daniel at an F Young saying, until next time, people.